Welcome back, my friends, here in my YouTube channel. Pastor Roots is here for our inspiration, encouragement, as we continue to feed our soul, our heart, our mind in God's Word. We need the Word of God in order us to continue to prosper in life and in order us to be fit spiritually. To all my subscribers, my thank you for your support. Wherever you are who subscribe in this channel, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you. Comment your prayer requests if you have prayer requests and I will remember that in my prayer and then you can pray for me also that I will continue to share the goodness, the wonderful word of God. The world need the Lord and the world desperately need from the goodness, from the powerful words of God. And the purpose of this channel again is to inspire you to be connected with the Lord, to be closer to God, and to give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, and let the Holy Spirit work in your heart to bless your life, to bless your businesses, to bless your job, to bless your relationship. And all your troubles will get answered in God alone. We need to connect to our Heavenly Father, our God who created us. We need to hold His promises. So welcome and I am glad that you are watching. Wherever you can watch, I hope you have your smartphone and download Gateway Bible for your app or if you have your big Bible like mine. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. You can use now in your uh, own language but now i'm sharing for the word of god in our english version so we are here in english version before we start for our sharing let us pray our god who give us life you created us according to your image you loves us you form us and we ask you lord to forgive us for our sins from all our dirtiness Cleanse our mind and our soul and spirit. Let our heart be true to you. And remind us of God with your kindness when you gave your life on the cross. Jesus, our God, you come to save us, to give us a future with hope. Cleanse us, O Lord, with the power of our Holy Spirit. Speak through me. Speak to your people, O God. And let your word be their guide wherever they are. Either they are in their car, in their room, if they will watch in television, or they will watch in their tablet, smartphone, or wherever they are, they can watch in their laptop. Lord, may their time can find comfort in your holy word. In their desperate time, they can find healing. I declare it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My friends, this is uh, the topic that I would like to share with you. This is a wonderful word that we can inspire our soul. We can encourage. We can hold this word from the Lord. We need this positive word. You know, when you speak bad words, negative words, it will affect your heart. It will affect your mind. So, we need the positive word, a powerful word, because this word is from God. This is very powerful. So we know we put all those negative uh, words in our heart. It can destroy, it can affect our psyche and our emotion. But now here, I want you to listen and to, to be attentive to the word of God so that you will be encouraged in these very powerful words. Let's talk about our theme this time. I can trust God's plan. Why I can trust God's plan? 
Do you have your own plan? Do you have your own uh, goal in life? So sometimes, you know, uh, I remember when I was uh, seven years old, someone asked me, oh, my teacher, my teacher, she asked me like this, Rodrigo, what do you want to be when you are uh, in college? What do you want to be? I said, mom, I want to be a soldier because I want to protect our our country, our, our, our land from the enemies. And I want to bring peace in our land. I said, I'm very proud of that. And one of my classmates, I want to be a doctor. I want to be an astronaut. You know, we have a lot of dreams in our life. We have a lot of plan. And then, that's my long time dream. But God's plan is higher than our plan. And the thing, I become a soldier of Christ and become a preacher. So amazing. That's why I'm here now. I'm here preaching in my YouTube channel and moving on forward to look forward to serve in the church, in the, church, in, in the ministry. I want to be back in that ministry. That's my call is. Now, why I can trust God's plan in my life? Why I can, I, I can trust? Number one, what, what's number one is? Because God never changes. Where is that? Where is that? In Hebrews, I want you to look at your Bible. In Hebrews 13, 8. Let's, let's look at this one. Is this real? Is this true? That I can trust God's plan because God never changes? That's in Hebrews 13, 8. So make it sure we have that in your Bible. Or well, look at, find your own version if you want. Hebrews 13, 8. So I would, I would like to, uh, to read it with you, my friend, my brothers, my sisters, here in the Word of God. It says here, Jesus Christ is that the same yesterday, today, and forever. Wow! Amazing. Why I can trust or why we can trust the plan of God? Because Jesus promised us that he will be with us even to the end of the world. That he will never leave us nor forsake us. Wow! And Jesus said, Jesus is the same. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We are the one who changed. We are the one who want change. But Jesus never changed. He never changed to love us. He never changed his plan to us. So that's why there is a stronghold. You know why, why we can trust that, that the plan of God in us? Because, you know, if you trust to human beings or if you trust your plan in human, it will change. Especially, if you trust in that specific person, that's why there are parts even in the Old Testament, my friend, in the Bible. Even in the Old Testament that King David says, do not put your trust in the kings, in the princes, or even in the authorities, because they are just a human, same like us. Our mind is not like God. We, we always change, right? If you don't want this thing, I don't want I want to change it. Now everything is instant. Everything is instant. Why? Even in even in the relationship, it's almost like instant. I don't want you anymore. Oh, I, I, I like that. That guy than you. I like that the one than you. Hi, <sighs> you know, we want all new adventure but in those adventures it's fine to find adventures or opportunities in life but the thing is your plan your trust is in the lord because because the plan of, of god is greater than us remember jeremiah it says in the word of jeremiah it says god says i have a plan for you not to harm you, 
but to prosper you and to give you a future with hope. And then there's part in the proverb, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on lean not in your own understanding. Because you, we have that big assurance in God. Powerful assurance in God. Jesus is same. Jesus Christ is same yesterday and today and forever. Wow. He never changes. He said he will be with us even to the end of the world. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. No one comes to heavenly kingdom, to the heavenly kingdom of God without believing our Lord Jesus Christ. We cannot just jump. We need to pass and let the Holy Spirit work in your soul and spirit. Okay, number two. Why I can trust God in my plan? Number two, because God is all powerful wow all powerful that's it that's that's it says omnipotent omnipotent of god there is no powerful than god we can read that in the book of jeremiah so let's go uh in the old testament here in the major major prophet jeremiah uh let's open our bible in the book of jeremiah so Jeremiah is the weeping, we call it the weeping prophet. Why? Because Jeremiah always cried for the need of the people and to all, to all, uh, all people of the Israel. So here we can we can see the the good thing, the good thing of our Lord here in Jeremiah. So my friend, God is all powerful as Jeremiah 32, 17 says, there is no other than powerful than God. When God created the heavens and the earth, He just said, let there be light and the light came. Let there be all the inhabitant. That's powerful word of God. No one can do that. We as human, we're getting brighter, smarter. You know, <laughs> uh, Elon Musk, <laughs> the Tesla producer. So he said, someday we can have the humanoid. And they are creating, creating this high-tech car. Now we are running electric car, and maybe we can have a flying car, and maybe someday the humanoid, what we call human and robots, will connect together. And it's sad to say that some people now marrying doll or robots. Wow, so high-tech, so high-tech. <laughs> Wow, super high tech. But when you create something, look like human is so powerful. When when human reach the moon, the Mars, say, oh, I'm powerful. But still, our power is not enough to the power of God. Remember when the Israelite people cruise in the Red Sea. When when God says to Moses. Moses, put your rod. And then when Moses up his rod, you can see that in the Old Testament, in the time of Exodus of the Israelite people, from the bondage of uh, what they call this slavery from Egypt. You know, when, when Moses raised the rod, you see the Red Sea was opened. And that's the powerful miracle. And you can see how powerful Jesus is. 
when Lazaro was dead for four days. He's already, sm he's already in a bad smell. From the dead. From the dead. And then Jesus said, Lazaro, get up. And people was amazed that Jesus raised Lazaro from the dead. And not only that, Jesus came to us. He died on the cross for our sin, for our redemption. And then he was buried. Was buried. And in days, he was resurrected. He can cure the death. He can cure the grave. And he was alive. My friends, there is no powerful than our God. He can do those miraculous things in our life. If we feel sad today, that you know, you are so down, you are so lonely, you look so dirty in your heart. There's nothing than powerful than God. Powerful than this pandemic. Powerful than this sickness. Powerful than death. That's why I invite you to come with him. Because there is no price on that. There is no price. Even you have trillions of money. Still not enough to God. So that's what we call omnipotent God. So powerful God. Powerful God. He is a powerful God. And number three, why we should we should trust in God? Why you should trust in God, my friend? Because God is all knowing. He knows everything. In Psalms 104, 147, 5, I'm going to check it to you, my friend. 147, 5 in Psalms. This is so wonderful that we can read this word of God. It's here, 147, verse 5. Great and mighty is our Lord. His wisdom cannot be measured. Unmeasurable. That's so we cannot fathom. The word we cannot fathom. Yes, we have we can read all the books. We can have all the knowledge. <laughs> Last time I just watched the Planet of the Apes in I think 1963 movie. It was like, oh my god, you're watching this, this very old movie, but you know the message is that we as human we become we are animals, and, and the apes, they are like the regular human, you know, and they, are, they have their knowledge. They cannot accept the existence of human being, according to that movie. Oh, my God. And, and, and they said that the apes is created in the likeness of God, and human is not. <laughs> but we are not like that. The God is so all-knowing, all-powerful, so omnipotent. God, all-powerful, all-knowing, so oh, omnipotences, senses. So God knows everything. Here you can see God is all-knowing. His wisdom, no one can compare. Because when we, when, we, when we search, we are already researching from God's creation. So no one can compare on that. When we come to the knowledge of God, when we come to Him, we become wiser. So that's the reason why the apostles, they are wiser than other, even they don't have the degree. Because the Holy Spirit, who give them the wisdom, who give them the knowledge, because God is all-knowing. That's why we can trust in God. That's why I said, Lord, in you I trust. It's, it is your will, Lord. If this is your will, Lord, please help me to do it. Not our will. That's what in our Father, right? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. The kingdom come. Thy will be done. Because the will of God is powerful and his wisdom is higher than us. Why I can trust my plan to God or God's plan in my life? Because why? God is always with me. God is always with me. Remember, Jesus said, I will be with you even to the end 
of the AIDS. And even in in Matthew 1, when, when Jesus came and, and, and it says, what's the name of this baby? And it says, Emmanuel means God is with us. We are not alone. I will be with you wherever you go. You are not alone. You see, we're not alone. Why you still get up? Why you give up? I know you have that problem. There will be a time that we are in the very down in our life. Please don't surrender. Never give up. Don't jump in that building. Don't drink the drugs. Don't, don't destroy your life in alcohol. Don't destroy your life. God is calling you. Jesus said, come unto me, all of you, because he always with us. And that's the story of footprints in the sun, right? And you see the story of the footprint in the sun, footprints in the sun, that, that we are walking with God. And then when we walk with Jesus, when we walk with God, that man, he, he came into the senses in his time that he was in a very down in his life. And, and he, he's very, he is in that state of loneliness, sickness, depression, something. And that time that he was sick, he looked at that, their footprints because they walk with God, with Jesus. He observed that the footprints is only one. It should be two fair, and it is one fair now. And he asked God, Lord, where are you? Did you leave me when I was sick? Did you leave me when I am alone? And God said, my son, I carry you in my arm. You can feel that power. You can feel that, that Christ will carry you. When you are alone, when you are sad, cry to God. Don't be ashamed. Cry to God. Because God will never judge you. He will never judge you. I can judge you because I am just mental. But God will never judge you. He is the one who never judges you. Wherever you are, as long as your heart is right with God to come with Him, trust in His plan. Trust in His heart. And then, why we trust God and God's plan? Because God is faithful. God is faithful. Psalms 119.90 I would like to, to read it with you, my friend. Psalms 119.90 This is so wonderful that God is faithful. It says, Your faithfulness endures through all ages or generations. And have set the earth in place, and it remains amazing. You see, the faithfulness of God. You know, I love that wonderful hymns. If you know this hymn, it's, let it speak to you in your heart. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Let's go to the chorus. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, your mercies I see. All I have needed, that I have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, and to me. Well, there is no other done that faithful than God. Our friend can betray us. And the sad to say, and even our spouse or even our loved ones, we can be alone in this world. But there is a God who always faithful to us. That He sent His only Son in order to save us. That's why I'm I'm preaching and telling you, my friend, there is no other who loves us like God. 
There is no other faithful like God. When we have God in everything, everything will be okay. So I hope you give your trust and God's plan in your life. That we can trust the amazing God. Thank you and God bless you all. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.